What is up YouTube? Today we are going to be turning the old horse stalls in the barn into a proper workspace for all our jeeping, ATVing, and woodworking adventures. So, let's get to it. So this is our old barn. It's the last of the buildings that we haven't pretty much entirely refurbished in the last decade. And as you can see, it is quite a mess. It's pretty much all the lost children of the previous projects have been put into here. Now we've started and started clearing out this section, this two horse stalls here, two horse stalls there, and a walkway in the center. Now here's what I'm envisioning. I want an area clear enough to start milling all the wood we've got, turning that into proper planks so we can you know, build stuff. I want the ATV section over here, I want a little workbench table area over here. At the ends, I want to make a rack for seasoning, drying planks of wood, and maybe we'll have Maybe we'll keep an area where we got dry firewood, but for the most part, we just cut it and stack it out in the forest there. So I want this to be a proper work shed. Step one, we gotta clear this stuff out. Step two, we're gonna knock down those walls. Three, we'll reinforce any of the load bearing beams, which who knows with these. And uh, four, then we get to start building some cool stuff. And I think we're also gonna put a door over there so we can get in from the courtyard instead of having to go all the way out and around to this door. I'm gonna start moving everything out of here. So let's cut to a time lapse of that. And under a bunch of this wood, I found the cylinder. On the side of it are the words grenade, hand, and smoke. And when you pop it open, there's a hand grenade just sitting in my barn. What? Other than a hand grenade, there's also, an, we unburied this pair of dentures. Quite the, quite the finding, really. Just goes to show, when you're given the opportunity to buy a cabin, you should not clear the barn out for almost two decades, because then you can find hand grenades and dentures that have been there for decades. All this wood was in there. All that wood was in there. All this wood. By 2021 standards, we've got millions of dollars of wood in here. We're loading up the truck full of all this garbage that was in here. Old turkey okay. fryer. was more than happy with those modern prices of lumber to be able to reuse some previous projects leftovers that the old deck expansion and a bunch of roofing that we've done. So for this stuff I'm going to cut it to the length I need to reinforce the overhead beams just to make sure nothing comes crashing down on our hopes and dreams and our heads. Yeah, it's against the wall. Oh, it's against the wall? Yeah, come look at it. At least I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, yeah. 
I mean, I could be blind. No, you're, you're, you might, I mean, you could still be blind, but that's perfect. Now that's what I call measuring good. So good, I don't even need to screw it or clamp it to keep it up. I am too good at this. Just kidding. That was the first thing that's gone that well in a long time. Now sometimes it can be easier to pre-drill and then set a screw into a plank than it is to hold the plank above your head if you don't have a clamp that will fit for this Pacific. It's pretty easy to get a C-clamp to hold up those long pieces. But to get a clamp to hold up this angled piece onto the rafter and then onto the post, that's a little hard. Add on to holding the screw and trying to make sure they're both flush, that's even harder. So if you put those screws in before you put it up here, pre-cut them like this and then you can hold with your free hand it tight into both positions so now I make sure it's flush to the rafter flush to the port beam and I can send them home Now with this rafter totally supported, we can take out the horse walls and the outer two posts. Because those outer two posts weren't actually touching the upper rafters, just this main cross beam, since we've reinforced it and reinforced the center structure, we'll be able to take those out, no issue.
I'm gonna call that a wrap on day one or part one because it was kind of two days uh, project. I think all in all, I'm pretty happy with how far we got. We reinforced the cross beam with the two by six, added supports from the walls to that two by six, added supports from that two by six up to the roof supports. And I really think those are gonna help even without these uh, center posts that were part of the wall system. I mean, those things, I could just move them around with my hands in the dirt. They were adding no support. And I, I want to say, and it was all nailed together. So, so we screwed everything up in a good way and it is going to hold way better. I'm going to do the same thing to the other cross member so we can knock down that last post for the third horse stall wall that we took out. And then that fourth stall area has already been converted partially into a workshop area. It's got a bench, it's got a raised floor with plywood and that's, you know, that's fine for now. I'm sure we'll be doing some stuff to make that just a little bit more accessible, a little cleaner, organize it. But for the most part, that's not a major project. Next step for part two is going to be putting in a better ground. And I really kind of want to keep it something, you know, I can just spill oil on accident working on the ATV and not really care. So I don't want to, you know, lay down a wood floor or anything like that. I just want to get this dirt out of here, get this bark out of here, and we'll bring in a whole bunch of pea gravel or something and we'll lay that down we might do different for different sections but this area is going to be atv car workshop we're going to be building some wood drying racks and just accessing racks so it's easier to get to the access get to the wood we have and then in the center aisle here we're going to be building a table saw area so we can better mill and play in the wood we build future projects so stick around for part two three and maybe four like subscribe comment thank you for following along remember to hit me up on instagram at some guy insta page Remember, if some guy can do it,